Hey, it's Steve from the future. Editing Steve, finally getting around to it. I'm a little bit behind, apologies. I'm just focused on the build. But I had an idea. I'm gonna take all the footage that I take, that I put together into a long form version of each episode, just in case you're interested in some of the minutia. And then I'll edit a more highly edited, hopefully a little bit more entertaining for the general masses episode. So, Look for the words long form if you're interested in that. Otherwise, I'll try to keep it down to about eight, nine minutes, and then the long form will be who knows how long. Anyway, without further ado, Jim, roll the tape. First rivet. Cool. Hinge is in. What part is this? Oh, that's. This is the vertical stabilizer. So the tail. Vertical. I've got like this 80 pound. Okay, my first mistake, feels silly, but it's, I can recover. Essentially, I, I, I thought I finished uh, riveting the frame together when, and I started cleaning off the, prepping the skins, the side skins, <laughs> when I uncovered a spare, a spare rib. Mm. Um, essentially, I was so careful, um, and perhaps I will include some of the video that I was being so careful <laughs> to take out this and then rivet these guys behind uh, and then get this back in place but then forgot to go like that so um, essentially I have to drill out these three again can recover you just it just shows how much like focus concentration I mean, it seems silly but you know you're hungry you answer a phone um, your dog jumps up on you uh, all those things can lead to um, mistakes that you know, luckily this is pretty recoverable, and but and it's a great lesson learned. Just to kind of double, triple, quadruple check the the plans and make sure. Anyway, learning. Okay, I've got the skins on, um, and now what I'm doing is checking for twist. So, let's show you how we're doing that. You can see there's sandbags over here, sandbags over there to fix some twist, but got a couple plecos. Maybe this inning is going to do it. Down points at five. Down Max Muncy rescues point seven five run. Seven out. Now what's weird is the instructions don't say to match drill. Um, maybe I've got an old set, maybe they've updated the instructions. But I feel like match drilling now while the twist is uh, figured out and then we'll flip it, we'll do the same thing, take everything apart, deburr, and then we click go and rivet. Okay, so I finished match drilling and then removed the leading edge and then re remained, kept the trailing edge clecos in there. Why not? You can get in there, clean it up adequately, uh, leaving those in there. So that's what I'm doing now, just cleaning everything up and then we'll go for final assembly. The area I'm expecting to find the most burrs 
And maybe I'll grab the GoPro. Is yeah, underneath the spar. I'm sure compressed air would clean it out just fine, but I don't have it. But I do have a Dyson. All right, nearly complete. Just need to put in the tail dragger pull handle where those big goes are. Let's put this down before I drop it. Perfect. And now the number eight. Right there. All right. Remove the Clicos and put in the others. Okay, so I located a quarter inch hole for this. How are you doing? So it can lock in place. Soon it just goes in like this. So it's a nice snug fit, so I'd just stick with quarter inch and uh, just fiddle with it and popped out so it's looking and feeling super secure and good. Next step is to JB weld this bad boy together <clears throat> and then this will slide over the top. So you got your pull handle right there. Let's check the uh, action. Okay, it's a couple weeks later and I was editing the video and I realized I didn't have the final product and kind of test fit and finish. So let's test it out as this uh, rudder is stored in my son's room. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Nice. 360 degrees. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and leave this video here. Um, this is what I've been working on. Fast forward a couple days, weeks. The horizontal tail is nearly complete. Just got to put on the tips. But that's for next video. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you don't mind, give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't. And hit that notification bell for when I drop my next video. We went to Napa in the Bonanza, so that's going to be kind of a travel vlog. And then episode three, episode four, we'll be building this tail. So. Editing takes a lot of time and it takes away from this guy. So thanks for your patience on kind of an inconsistent upload schedule, but I sure appreciate you being here. Till next time, you're clear to write.